Okay, so today we're milking bluebells, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a soapy wet paper towel and just clean the teeth. Each one. Get the dirt off it. Then I'm going to get another paper towel that's just wet. And I'm going to wipe the soap off. Okay. Now I'm going to milk like a couple squirts out to clean out the teeth. And to milk, I'm going to grab it with two fingers and then move all the fingers down like that. And then I'm just going to, when I get better at it, I'm just going to hold like this and have slight movements of my fingers to squeeze the milk out. So you're starting by squeezing at the top of the teat to fill the teat with milk and then squeezing the milk down the teat and out the hole from the udder down to the end of the teat. Show the hand movement more clearly from the top down. Okay, so but I'm gonna grab it like this and just kind of pinch it off here so it can't go back up with my thumb up here. And then I'm just gonna squeeze down with all my fingers. Okay. In order. When you're first learning, milking one hand at a time is easier, but once you get proficient, you can do two hands.
You want to make sure you strip out all the teats as well. You want to make sure you milk her out completely, otherwise you run the risk of mastitis and infection. And you can feel when the teats are empty. You can feel when the udder's empty. Sometimes new milkers or new mamas where the calf is still around won't let down the milk to where you feel the udder is full, but when you try to milk the, the teats stay empty, they won't let down. Sometimes you can bump the udder or massage the udder to, um, to help them let down. And then sometimes they just won't let down until they're ready to. Which may take a couple of days after weaning a calf off them. People redress the teats once they've finished milking or put something like bag balm off them because the, the teat shaft will stay open for a little while after milking. So they do that to, to help prevent the entrance of foreign bodies or infection, you know, um, after milking until the shaft closes. We feed them directly after milking. So Bluebell will stay standing up for a good 45 minutes after milking, which gives the teat shafts time to close up. So we're not too worried about that. done and as you can see when she's done her teats are all deflated and shriveled up and that's a good way to tell if they're done or not and let's just see how much bluebell gave oh, watch out bluebell so that's about three quarters of a gallon. We only milk her once a day and we haven't been graining her and she's just on um, on cubes right now, a, a grain alfalfa mixed cube. 